All right, guys. <clears throat> Sorry for the echo. The I uh, wanted to kind of go through this really quick. Um, another feature of the Sun SDR, um, actually all of the Sun radios, uh, it doesn't matter if it's the, the SDR2DX like I'm using, the MB1, um, the SDR Pro, or the SDR QRP. Um, with the TCI interface that they have in their software, it makes it super, super easy to set up a lot of the logging, well, not a lot of logging programs. There's a handful of logging programs. I'm finding that most of these logging programs that are that are using this interface are uh, written over in the uh, European countries. So that said, um, I have gotten it to work within 1MM. Uh, not the TCI interface, but using the com you know conventional uh, COM ports, and that works flawlessly. No no problem with that. Um, you can actually use the TCI interface um, with the Sun SDR SD um, SDC um, interface to launch uh, TCI on it, and then have that actually emulate COM ports and connect that to N1MM, uh, which works really well. That way you can also see the pan adapter in N1MM as well. Um, there's there's a couple features in that, that you can turn on in the SDC to have that UDP port display the pan adapter in N1MM. But I wanted to keep this video kind of short um, just to kind of give you guys an overview of something here. Um, I'm not a, a big CW person. Let me take a break here a second so this time's out. I am still using the... 781 mic uh, routed through the software and turn a drive level way down to to get audio into this uh, video mix. So until we get something else, I gotta unkey here every once in a while. There's a I've got it set for a five minute timeout. Um, there's a piece of software that's called uh, 5M Contest. It's uh, again it's it's TCI based. Um, it is written overseas. It's written in uh, I'm not sure exactly where it's written at now that I think about it. Um, it's not written in the U.S., but it works very, very well for a lot of these uh, European contests that you know that a, a, a few of us like to do. Particularly, I found, and I'm playing around with this today, and I want to see how well it works, but from what I'm seeing so far, it seems to work very well. Um, the Worked All Europe CW contest. Now, <clears throat> I'm not a big CW person at all. I... I I love CW, but I'm, I'm I suck at it. I'll just put it that way. I'm horrible at it. The SDC interface um, has a great, uh, a great, great uh, reader in it, along with um, uh, you know being able to to scroll through a, a bunch of CW and and look and see what it is. It puts the uh, the call sign there. The, it decodes, figures out the um, you know the characters per second for you or um, the uh, yeah, the characters per second. Not the, 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 it means it's written this way. They use CPS instead of words per minute. So there is a co correlation there, roughly um, uh, five words a minute times five will give you roughly characters per second. Some say it's five and a half or six, but it, you know somewhere around there, it's close enough. The neat thing about this is once it figures out the the speed that it's decoding at, that the the other station is sending at, um, in five in five M contest, you can port that back into the software, and on the fly when you decode something, it'll set that speed rate for the actual send rate back, and then five M contest has the macro fields in it for you know a lot of the contest, so it makes it really easy, like this, you know, CW worked all Europe contest. Now, I just tried it with two of them, and it worked very, very well. Um, let me take a break here again. Okay, what we're looking at on the on the SDR2DX pan adapter is uh, a lot of the contest uh, down here in the CW uh, side of things, obviously. And, yeah, I know the radio says it's in USB mode. It's in USB mode because that's how I'm pointing the mic audio in, so I'm going to switch that over here in a minute. But if you look, there's a whole slew of... Uh, stations up on the pan adapter display, those spots. So you can click on those. Um, those will go right into 5M contest, or you can use the um, 
the uh, the CW reader and 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 SDC, um, the skimmer, the CW skimmer, and and grab your your uh, station info from there. Click on it, and it'll populate it into the 5M contest field as well. Uh, and then at that point, you basically answer a call or and you know uh, enter in their um, uh, mm-hmm. contact number, the uh, you know serial number, not and then you have it this the software send your serial number and your call and stuff and close out um and then you know basically you just go up and hit save and you're you're done with that one and you can move on to the next one so i kind of wanted to point this out real quick i'm going to switch over to the other screen so hold on a second i'm going to switch this into cw mode you're not going to hear me anymore but just kind of just to kind of give you an overview of how this works we'll work a few of them real quick i am running uh i am running the acom 1000 i've got uh drive level i think was like around 25 30 watts um making somewhere in the neighborhood of around 350 400 um it was what i'm using on cw uh more than enough i think I am using the the little two element um tribander um by high gain, the TH two MK three. And we're pointed uh, northeast roughly forty, forty five degrees. So in the general direction of uh, most of these guys I think anyway. So let's work a few of them, see how well this uh, this uh software package works along with the uh the expert electronics uh EESDR software. And uh, we'll go from there. So hope you enjoy this. I'm just going to run a few minutes of it, and we'll see how it goes.
seems to work. I got to figure out this whole QTC thing. Like I said, I've never really done any CW before. So, um, I know that after a certain amount, they ask for QTCs. I think it's t at 10 or something like that. I'm not sure. Um, I got to figure out how to, how to send those from the software. Um, I know they're supposed to okay them as you go through, send each one, they're supposed to give you a roger or okay. But the software does work, and the skimmer seems to work pretty well. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it. I'll have to play around with it some more and uh, try it out on a few more contests. You know, the biggest thing with the uh, with the 5M contest, unfortunately, is a lot, like I said, a lot of the contests are geared for the European contest. I didn't see a whole lot of contests in there for, um, you know, contest here in the States, um, which is a shame, but, you know, maybe somebody will add some to it, or maybe somebody will come out with another logging program that works with the TCI. Um, I have messed around with a couple other ones, uh, Log HX, which seems to work pretty well. Um, that one will let you do a lot of freehand stuff in CW. And log for OM, I downloaded the other day. Uh, I've got it set up, but I haven't really actually played with it, so I couldn't tell you a whole lot about it. But I hope that uh, this kind of gives you a quick overview of uh, of TCI. And what I can do, I guess I have, real quick here, I can show you how I got this set up. So let me unkey. So the first thing you want to do in the Expert Electronics EESDR software, and I am running version 1.3, 1. 1.3, 1. shoes, I forgot. Hold on a second here. What version am I running? Uh, yeah, 1.3.1 1. update 6, um, which is the current release. So let's close that. So the first thing you want to do is open up your options tab, go underneath where it says TCI, and in here all you got to do is enable this and give it a com or a, a port number. Default is the 4001. Um, these are your standard um, settings for the uh, CW macros. Now on the fly, this will change the out the uh, the speed. So the default is 28. Um, as we saw that, you know, if you guys run in 32, 33, it will automatically adjust that speed for you. So that's that's really neat. So actually, after you hit this, you hit, hit enable, and uh, we're, we're good there. I'm not going to make any changes in that. Um, let me switch monitors. This is going to get kind of weird for a second. Hold on. going to go back to monitor two. Okay. Oh, wait. Before we do that, Let's bring up the actual skimmer software. Okay. Let's see if I can grab this from behind here. Okay. So, <clears throat> hopefully I'm on monitor two. Am I on monitor two? <laughs> I've lost my spots here. Yeah, okay. Sorry, guys. All right. <clears throat> Let me unkey for a second again. So, in... Uh, in the SDC uh, software defined connectors, <clears throat> which is uh, another add in piece um, that has the TCI protocol in it, you uh, basically enable your TCI. You can, if you're running in 1MM, you can do the focus helpers um, in here. I've got it turned on. Um, I haven't 
uh, currently, as this video is going, um, obviously N1MM was not going. I was using 5M Contest. Whoops. 5M Contest. So this is kind of a neat little uh, little thing here. You've got uh, comm spiders you can add, you know, comm ports and things like that, rig sinks um, between rigs, your telnet server for your um, your skimmers and your spotters and all that. Um, that's all settable in here, which is really nice. Um, if you're exporting again to N1MM, you can set up your color color mappings to, to come up on the screen for that. Um, here's your skimmer setting. Um, you can download all these things, you know, the uh, the update list, the set files, um, your check calls, <clears throat> your um, UDC port or UDP port, broadcast ports. Do, 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 do. Set your band profiles in here as well. Um, let's see, let me unkey a second again. And then you've got... Um, you know, remote server options in here as well. Audio scope. Um, got an SDR or SDR, <laughs> SWR uh, standing wave ratio plot in here as well. Um, you can set your start and end points and hit start, and it'll go through and plot your graphs out for you. Uh, I don't want to do that right now because I'm on the I'm on the beam at the bottom end of the bottom end of 20 meters, and I have to use the tuner down there, but um, yeah, let's not do that through the CW portion anyways. Um, and then basically you, you can have things auto start in here. Um, there is a help file in English. <clears throat> you can set your fonts and set your styles. I've actually got this with the, the grayer, uh, background style. There's another one that's got like a black background style, um, but it's it's a pretty neat little piece of software. It's very handy for uh, for being an interface between the radio and other uh, other logging programs, and also like WSJTX, uh, JTX, um, DX, uh, any of the other you know FL Digi uh, things like that. It's kind of neat. You can use the uh, like I said the the com spiders in here and um, or your TCI, and you can turn on this rigging emu emulator portion in here, um, which will allow you to set COM ports. Uh, you, you actually connect to this piece of software, TCI, and then this piece of software will connect to your other logging programs um, for each receiver. Now, remember, just like in the original, uh, the other video I showed you, each, each receiver has its own uh, set of variables in there for COM ports and, and, and UDC ports, um, telnet ports. Uh, CW ports, CW keen. Um, I mean, basically, it's like having two separate radios, uh, so you can set those individually, which is really nice. <clears throat> so, anyways, this will let you emulate. You uh, create your virtual COM ports, and then you know, one end is uh, here, and the other end, like I think this is fifteen sixteen. Uh, so the other piece of software would connect to sixteen, and on the second receiver, the other piece of software connects to port twelve. And then Rig Emulator actually emulates a Kenwood uh, TS480S, if I remember correctly. So that's what they're using for the emulator is uh, TS480S. So really neat. Uh, you can, I mean, if your software doesn't have TCI in it, you can connect it this way, which is very handy. And again, that allows you to use the uh, the skimmer and talk to the software packages and everything else. So everything is done on the fly, which is pretty cool. All right. So in your simmer skimmer yeah, simmer skimmer settings. Oops, I didn't actually want to stop that. Uh, it's getting back up here. Okay. You um, you can have this in external window, like I had that little pop-out window on it before. Um, you're collecting to your client only, or you want to collect uh, audio and the telnet server, um, TCI only, audio and TCI, audio and rig sync. Um, there's all kinds of little connectors in here. Um, if you want to do offsets for, you know, RIDI or uh, PSK, you can put those in here as well. 
your TCP server. Um, you know, you can set those all in here. <clears throat> the click feature basically gives you the down here um, when you're clicking on that, import it into your logging program. Uh, if you're running in one mm, you can turn on the spectral um, spectrum via UDP right here, and this will export that into N1 mm's little uh, uh, um, on-screen uh, uh, band scope that they have in that in that piece of software as well, and it works works very well, very smooth. You can change your waterfall rate in N1 mm from this slider here, which will allow you to change the the speed of the waterfall. All right, let me close this. Actually, I don't want to close it. Okay, so let me minimize this. So this is this is 5M contest. You can lay, excuse me, you can lay these out however you'd like um, for uh, on the screen. Just come up to your windows and select which windows you want, and then you can drag them and put them into place, resize them. Um, whatever you need to do. You have your <clears throat> your band scope with your uh, telnet respond or your yeah, telnet cluster spots over here. QSO list is down here. We just went through 10 of them. Really nice map. When you uh, click on a call in here, it actually drags this to wherever that call is so you can get a real good idea of where you're where you're actually communicating with. Gives you your azimuth and all that down in here too, if it's, you know, what the time difference is, which is kind of nice. It's your main window for your logging, um, S&P search and pounce. Auto on will fill in the uh, speeds and everything for you as well. Again, 27. I was trying to point this out. Of course, I didn't have the mic on it, so I was trying to point this out. 27 was the last decode here of uh, Delta Lima 3 Uniform Bravo, and it set the CW speed up here at 28, so very, very close. Yeah, we'll grab another one down here real quick. guy here is at 32 and if you look up here it set this at 32 as well so it'll auto auto on the fly change your C, uh, CW rate of course you got your solar information that's in here as well again you know these windows are all customizable but if you go into management go to 5M contest settings and then under rig omni rig uh, you just tell it you're using expert electronics TCI it makes sure that the com the address local port 127.0.0.1 if you're running it you know remotely or whatever um, you'd put that IP address in here and whatever port you set that up to the skimmer port um, this connects back to the SDC program but down here. That's all you guys set. <clears throat> it's done. <laughs> no, uh, no COM ports, no baud rates, no setting up, um, you know, the CW keying or anything like that. It's all done on the fly through uh, through the TCI interface. Very, very nice. Ah, look, I found the QTC setting. I'll have to check this out. Ah. All right, so we'll have to uh I'll have to play around with this and figure out how to use it. Nice. 
so it is in here. There's your cluster settings. You, can, you know, if you spot somebody, it'll tell you, you know, if you're doing it in the contest. Obviously, the comment will be that it's the con, you know, that contest. Um, let's see. You have uh, M M M T Y M M T T Y, F L Digi, and uh, M M Vari setups. Uh, P S K, Riddy, um, G R Riddy or G Riddy. I haven't messed with that. CW settings. It's so actually a really neat piece of uh, piece of software that works well with the uh, <clears throat> the software uh, client, the SDC client with the skimmer in it. So, hope you enjoyed it. Um, we'll play around with it a little bit more later on, maybe if I get a chance to. But it seems to work. Take care. Have a great uh, Saturday, and hopefully we'll catch you on the air soon. N8SDR.